Oh, that smells like yo. Don't you miss sharing a bed with me? Hello vlog. Long time no talk. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. The New Year doesn't start until February 1st for me, okay? Because Chinese New Year, you know, right now it's my prepping stage, but I don't know if the vlogs of my Seattle are gonna be released on the YouTube, but then I'm back in a very familiar background because guess who I'm back with? <laughs> Yay! It's only been a month. It feels like it's been a while though. The last time I saw it was BTS concert, right? Yeah. yeah, it's only been a month. My left contact's irritating the crap out of me. Anyways, I will... What was that, dude? <laughs> Oh yes, this is the start of my new year, new journey. Start off the year great because let me show you what happened to my luggage. So everything was very, very smooth. Going great. A flight was earlier than expected. Oh, that got really dark. And then I was pushing my luggage. I got on the escalator and I was, you know, kind of like tired. I was like a huff, like a puff. So I let go of my hand or my hands let go of the luggage. And then my luggage rolled down and now I have a bented handle that I can't close. It's stuck. And I need this luggage to go Korea. And the second embarrassing part, which I'll reenact for you, I was watching it roll down. So I was here and I just watched it roll down. And then I had to run, and I was going an escalator. So I had to run down like this, trying to get it. And I couldn't grip it the first time. So then it slipped and then fell again. And I had to run down again. And I finally got it. Sad. Okay, anyways, that's my check in. Happy New Year. Don't you miss sharing a bed with me? Just don't. Oh! <laughs> Have you guys ever seen a five-piece sushi roll? Because I have it. I'm confused. Like, tell me I what this is. <laughs> Did you just lick that? Just eat it. It's, um, radish. Oh. I am currently unboxing my Freshly because I came prepared this time. Last time, I oftentimes ate yogurt and cereal for breakfast because I was not prepared and didn't cook anything. So this time, I'm prepared! Yay for preparation. And it's really not me pre prepping, it's Freshly that preps it for me. I really like this packaging from Freshly because they come out these like little cushiony thingies to cushion the food. But inside is like this and it's made out of recycled blue jeans. That's so cool! Like bruh, this is all from blue jeans. It's super hard. Can you imagine if you smack them with this? If someone breaks into this house, I could smack them with this. Ah! Wow, that hurt. Wow, sure it's fridge lighting is so good. Oh my <laughs> 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 Can you tell this is my first time filming one of these like refrigerator B-roll shots? Can you? I also got some milk. I also got some milk. Does the fridge being open too long? Oh. Well, that's pretty cool. It gives you an alert. I am currently on Sharon's rooftop and look at how beautiful today is. That's the Seattle Space Needle. So sunny. It's freaking beautiful. This is actually perfect weather. It's not too cold. It's not too warm. It rained a little bit last night, so the seats are wet. So we're going to be working inside over there. And also because homegirl um, didn't charge her laptop, so it's about to die. Look at how beautiful today is. So much sun. There's a bit of breeze of wind. You see the, you hear the seagulls in the back. I'll show you guys the city skyline. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so that angle is just... <laughs> <laughs> <It's> terrible angle. <laughs> Welcome to cooking dinner with jam. Sharon and I are, are making kimbap, and it's actually pretty easy to make. We made it last time. I like to say that we did a pretty good job, so this time, we're gonna do a greater job. So as Sharon is hair masking herself, I'm going to be prepping. Okay, everybody, we got Chef Jam in the house. We got some of the carrots um, cooking right here. This is cool. You put the little spatula right here, you know? Then we got the egg scrambling right here. Multitasker jam. Look at that scramble. Woo! Do you see this hand motion right here? Scrambling. Now we're gonna put the spam in to fry it a little bit. Ooh. I'm also going to just throw the fish kicks in there so this is faster, you know? I hope this is faster. Actually, I don't know. I'm not a chef. 
I never knew Spam stood for that. It's sizzle pork and mmm. Cool, fun fact of the day. Okay, now the egg is done. As the meat is cooking, I'm gonna cut up the egg. <laughs> okay, this is not very efficient, so I'm gonna do this off camera. All the cooking is complete. We got a little station thing going on here with the meat, these stuff, the carrots, the spinach, and we got the rice over there. And now the authentic Korean will show us how to roll a kimbap. And she even brought this mat thingy. Mat thingy. <laughs> Don't miss it. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to do the rolling, rolling, rolling. All right, time to see the results. Hey, not nice. bad. bad. It's oh, bursting. Yo, this looks so much better than once last time. And this is only our second try. I know. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Can you imagine a third try? Oh, we're gonna be perfect out here. Kimbap masters. Once we cut it, or when Sharon cut it, it fell apart a little bit because our rice wasn't sticky enough. But you know, third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. And we have infinity. Wait, end game in the background. And this grape soda that Sharon found from Michelle Choi's vlog tastes very, very good. Good morning vlog! I'm currently at the gym at Sharon's apartment. It is so empty. I love it. It's currently 10 a.m. and I haven't gym this early in a while. Whoa, this makes me look so like 3D. I actually really really like morning workouts. When I say morning, around like 10 or 11-ish because I usually wake up around like 9. And I like to get my workouts out of the way so that I could be like freshen up and be ready for the day. So I haven't done this in a really long time because of work and stuff. So I'm really really excited to start working out in the morning again um because i feel like when i work out in the morning i just have like really really good energy throughout the day because i feel like oh i got my workout done and then it just really like gets my energy level and serotonin up so yeah let's get this workout started oh my god you guys i just discovered how connect to the speakers in the room so now my music playing the speaker. Oh my god, this is so nice. So I just finished my workout. My face is really red, as you can see, compared to my neck. But that was like probably one of the best workouts I've had in so long, and maybe months. I mean, I haven't worked out in a while, but that was such a good workout. And then I just finished it off with like a 10 minute walk to cool myself down. I love working out in the morning. Like this is my favorite time to work out. And it's only 11 right now, so I feel like the day is just still like so much more to the day that I can do. So we're currently walking to Glossier in Glossier in Cap Hill because we are we have some time to kill before we're going to our candle making class. Cheesecake. I like it. I usually like, but this is better biting. We have arrived. Whoa! I'm currently outside finishing my ice cream before I go in because it's mass required. Whoa! This is so cute. I've never actually seen any glossier products in my life ever. Well, I like this mirror. So cute. I kind of feel like I'm in space almost. Well, I actually want, really want to try their boy brow stuff. Oh, this is so cute. It's like a whole little like, it reminds me of those lab tubes. Does it not? Like literally these are lab, lab tubes. Especially these right here. Oh my god, these look like lab tubes. Okay, I think we're moving on to the skincare section. 
oh these are the moisturizers or this is the famous um exfoliating solution oh the milky jelly cleanser pro oh i like the packaging it looks very newspaper like oh these are the serums super pure super glow super bounce this part is so cute they have like a little whole like bathroom path thing going on and they have everything that you could like try here okay i think this section is just the same what was this oh body stuff dude the pinks are so cute oh my god look at these mini ones that's so cute look at little mini bomb.com oh my god we're kind of matching Ah. You look good! I'm gonna smell the bomb.com and mango because I've been wanting to smell this since I was in like college. Oh my god, it smells so good. They have cookie butter, berry, coconut, mint, cherry, birthday cake, rose, original. Dude, the mango lip balm smells so good. If I win, I get it. If you win, I don't get the lip balm. Rock, paper, Dude, just says that Jamila don't spend any more money because you're not, you know, you're not working anymore. That was a very, very short walk to Elm Candle Bar. But Elm Candle Bar is Asian owned, is a family business. That's super cool. We found that out when we were watching their interview yesterday. Yay, support local business. <laughs> This is not the entrance. Whoa, it smells so good. There's 89 cents here. Pineapple. First you have to fill out a form and you basically just go through all the scents that you like and I'm assuming they know that we're noobs so they help us decide what scents would go well together. The yuzu, white tea. So many to choose from. Coffee, Chardonnay. There's, uh, there's so many flavors. I mean, scents. Ooh, a little too warm for me. This is Chardonnay. Oh, I kind of like Chardonnay. Let's continue on our journey to find a nice flavor or scent. I don't know what you think flavor. Mm. Not for me. Not for me. Oh, that smells like yo. Feel. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at the stuff they're making it back, and I was looking at the matte black one, but I saw the pink one, and it's so cute. So cute. The pink. For some reason, the pink just didn't look so cute here, but it looks so cute in the stuff, in the ones behind me. Perfect. So now we're gonna have y'all do is just go ahead and circle it around your nose like this. Okay. And you can squeeze too, but just be careful because if you squeeze too hard, you're gonna end up in there. Okay. I'm on my nose. Can't get. <laughs> the short nails are really strong. Of course. This is like a chem lab. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it smells so good. <laughs> It smells good. Coffee. Me. That's my thing. Also, you you look so stressed. Feel stressed. Maybe try smelling some of these coffee beans, or is that helping? Does it diffuse the smell? Yeah, it like is a palate cleanser. Oh. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is actually fill it all the way to the top of the jugger. So literally right at the rim once it's about to overflow with whatever ratio. Done! Sharon's yes. is really to the rim. Can you smell it now? <laughs> it is what it is. So Sharon got the coffee and whipped cream. Very, very successful for first candle making experience. Were you stressed? I was very stressed. <laughs> It smells so good in here. What I want. The egg. Ooh, look at that. Look at that egg. I love my eggs runny. Give it a good mix. 
I was gonna get a soup ramen like Sharon's but then I got really tempted by the image of this and it looks really 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 good mm, it's so good so we just got back from dinner about 30 minutes ago I immediately changed into my pajamas because my jeans were suffocating me and I'm very very full it was a very good dinner we devoured it in about like 10 minutes we came back and we got like low-key food coma and what was I say I forgot what else I'm gonna say, but yeah, for the rest of the night, we're not really doing anything. Sharon's over there editing away for this week's episode. And I'm just gonna shower and then chill for the rest of the night, maybe watch another Marvel movie. I don't know. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye!